Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name's Star. I'm just a 34 year old mom of three boys who loves playing in makeup. Whether that be indie, luxury, affordable, I love it all. And today I thought we would do an empties video. And I got this whole bag full right here and then I got some more. So if that seems like something that you're interested in, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I got a few uh, items. It's not a lot, a lot, but I mean, it's enough that my bag's full. So we're going to go ahead and go through it. Um, some of this is my stuff. Some of it's my kids' stuff. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. The first thing I got here is this Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. I think I got this for Christmas. It came in like a set. Uh, my mother-in-law gave it to me. I actually really like this. So you use it in the shower and then you rinse it off and it really does moisturize your skin um, really, really good. So I like this and um, I have a whole bunch of like shower stuff that I'm going through, but I actually might repurchase that. That I, I really like that. All right. So my kids used up this vanilla snowflake bubble bath. It came in like a gift set over Christmas. I mean, nothing special. They love bubble baths. So, and then this Mr. Bubbles foam soap. Does anybody remember Mr. Bubbles? I don't, I didn't know they even still made it. My mother-in-law got it for my kids. Um, they have a pink one. They have a green one. Uh, they love it. It smells good. Um, they can play with it. It's so, so I really like that. But did you guys know that Mr. Bubbles was still a thing? I didn't. All right. So I got this. Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair, the Comeback Curl. Um, I really like this. The only problem with it is, is the sprayer is like, it sh can you see that? It shoots out like it's not a mist. It just, so wherever you put it in your hair, like it doesn't, it just sticks in a clump. So what I do is I usually take it out and then pour it in my hand and then do it. But I like this, but um, I don't think I'll repurchase it because I don't like the, and I'm sure there's better, you know, curl revivers out there. But um, I think this is my second bottle. But I just, I got, I got tired of the, how terrible the sprayer is. So, there's that. I won't repurchase that. Um, this is a L'Oreal Paris Total Repair 5 Restoring Shampoo. Guys, I never use up conditioner and shampoo at the same time. I always use up the conditioner early. And then I'm stuck with the shampoo and a different conditioner. And I had the uh, conditioner for this. I used it up. I like L'Oreal. My favorite's actually Tresemme, but um, this wasn't this wasn't bad. But I mean, I got so many shampoos and conditioners right now. It's not even funny. So I doubt I'll repurchase it. But all right, another thing I got was this So Cozy Kids Curl Leave In Conditioner Spray. I only have um my youngest son who has extremely curly hair like me, and so we put this in his hair after he gets out of the shower. Um, and it just it helps you know, um, where we can brush it. It's a leave-in. It makes his hair all soft. And then sometimes we go in with other kid products to like scrunch the curls if we want to, but usually I just let him go natural. I have this Garnier Fructis Curl Scrunch Gel. Guys, do you remember when, what was that? Was it LA Colors, LA Splat, LA something? It was, it was a gel. It was like a crunch hold gel. Everybody used it in the 90s and the early 2000s. And it just made your hair feel like crunchy and all of that. So it it held your hair really, really good though. But this gives you the same kind of curl, but without the crunchy feeling. And I really, really like this. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find it again. So I don't know. I think I got this at Walmart, but last time I went, it wasn't there. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some research because this would be something I would repurchase. Um, again, because like I said, it doesn't make my hair, uh, crunchy, but it still gives me the, the hold that I need for a couple of days. Because after like the second day of curly hair, um, you really have to take the extra time to like refresh it, put water in it, extra, you know, product and all of that kind of stuff. And sometimes that can be a pain in the butt and you can really go for like two or three days without having to do a refresh using like a, a gel as opposed to like a mousse or a cream or anything like this. Um, but most of them make your hair crunchy and this one doesn't. So I like that. All right. I also used up this. I got this out of my shower not too long ago. Uh, not my shower, my bathroom. The Bedhead TGI... T-I-G-I, Foxy Curls. I already have another one of these. Um, I like 
this. It's not my favorite product. So the second one I bought, I bought because I didn't realize I already had this one. Um, and I was wanting to try it. And I like it. I'll use up the other one, but this probably isn't going to be something that I'm going to repurchase. I am, I just am not having luck with hair stuff lately. I, ever since I cut it and then dyed it, I mean, my hair, my curl pattern's different, everything. None of the products are working the same like they did beforehand. I mean, your curly hair is very finicky, so... I'm going to, I think I'm going to have to buy all new products or figure something else out. So, um, I think that is the last hair product and like kid products. So, I've got this Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I got a bunch of these for like in a, a pack. I think I got five or six of them. Um, this is the cucumber one. I've used up the rose one. I've used up the pumpkin enzyme one. All I got left is like the charcoal and the gold one. The only one that I would actually repurchase is the pumpkin enzyme and probably the charcoal one because those are the only ones that I actually think do anything. Uh, this cucumber gel mask, when you put it on, it does make your face feel hot. But other than that, I don't find that it does anything. I mean, it says it's supposed to be a detoxifying hydrator. It's supposed to refresh, cool, moisturize, uh, calming gel, help soothe irritated skin. It's got cucumber, papaya, chamomile, pineapple, sugar maple, sugar cane, orange, lemon, bilberry, and aloe. Guys, I'm, I don't find this one does anything. I didn't think the rose one did anything. Um, the gold one doesn't do anything. Like I said, the pumpkin and the charcoal would be the only ones that I would like repurchase. And I have so many masks because i I'm not one of these type of people to mask a lot, so I wouldn't even I wouldn't even repurchase the pumpkin one or the charcoal one. Um, I have this makeup revolution. Well, it's the Revolution Skincare Hydration Boost. It's a lightweight hydrating gel. Um, I like this. I mean, it was a regular gel. I won't repurchase it. There was nothing special about it. Um, it gave me hydration. It wasn't overly because I'm oily. It didn't like make my skin look extra oily or anything like that it was just like a good daytime one so but i wouldn't repurchase that um this i absolutely hated i've hated almost all the cleansers i've tried recently this is the awake glow smoothie jelly cleanser guys you guys know i'm i'm huge into foaming cleansers not so much these jelly ones um this actually left my skin feel really dry i don't like it my husband didn't like it did you use this gabe at all on your face no he didn't use it but um yeah me and my husband didn't like that so i wouldn't repurchase that and i think i got that obviously i got it on sale um i got this sponge i can't remember if this is the l'oreal or the elf or whatever i mean it's a good sponge but it was time for me to get another one so there's that i have two mascara no i have this elf mascara guys i hated this Yes. Um, I hated it so bad. Um, the wand is terrible on it. I don't like the big bristles. It did not lengthen. It did not volumize. I could not use it on my lower lash line because it got everywhere during the day. Um, this is the, it's the lash out loud one and it says it's a volumizing mascara. There was no volume. I hate it. Um, don't like it. Wouldn't repurchase it. Don't recommend it. I also have this Milani brow gel. Guys, this was, I mean, it was fine. I'm not a huge brow person. It did the job. It kept my stuff in place. The wand's actually kind of big on it. Um, I don't I don't like the bigger eyebrow wands, but I mean, it was good. I used it up. Um, let's see. Here is the MAC Painterly Paint Pot, my old one that I used up. I mean, there's just a tiny bit in the corner, but it became a pain. Um, I already purchased a new one on the 21 Days of Beauty. I've been using that. This, I will probably back to MAC. You guys know this is my Holy Grail eyeshadow base. So, um, I had this 4th Ray Matcha Face Milk. Guys, I like this. I have the papaya one right now that I'm fixing to start using. I like these face milks. Um... They give me just enough uh, moisture, and um, they smell good, and I like them. They're, they're cheap, so I have that. I have this. I finally used this up. This was a Seraphine Botanicals Ginger and Gold Illuminating Peach Blush. Um, I think I got this in an Ipsy years ago, and believe it or not, it was, it was beautiful. 
do you do you need to go upstairs no i'm good then stop um this was i, I really like the color i can swatch it because i mean there's still a little bit left but there wasn't enough for me to like once it becomes hard to use i just it's done and that's what it looks like but guys it was gorgeous um i probably wouldn't repurchase it because i have so many other blushes and all of that and like i said this isn't um seraphine botanical i don't know how easy this is to get but I'm glad I used it up and I really liked it. So, and then my last three things are this Florence by Mills Swimming Under Eye Gel Pads. They look like whales. I, I didn't find this did anything. Actually, it was very hard to keep on my under eyes. Um, I don't, I think, of course, Florence by Mills is meant for a younger, um, like, generation of people. So, I don't think it was going to do anything to my like, um, wrinkly under eyes anyway, but I used it because I had it. This is the, I don't know if it's Bulgari, whatever, the Omnia Pink Sapphire. Um, it was just a little thing. I mean, can I even get, I mean, it smells okay. It's not like a smell I would usually use. So, I mean, I, I definitely wouldn't purchase like a full size of that. And then I finally, finally used up my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer. This is the one that has the the thick um, pencil and I don't prefer those. My brows are already sort of bushy so I really don't need the thick one. Oh, um, I like the smaller pens so I wouldn't repurchase this but I think I got this a while ago on like a 21 days of beauty or something. Um, so that's it for my empties. Like I said, I know it wasn't um, huge, but um, I'm, I'm glad I used up stuff. Guys, check out my Instagram. I usually put my totals in my stories um, for all the stuff that I used up. And I've actually done pretty good this year. I think I'm on track to um, at least use up $1,200 worth of stuff. So that makes me happy. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you just like this video, give it a thumbs down. Either way, it helps me know what you guys like to see. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe. If you like my sparkling personality. And I will see you guys in my next video. See ya. Bye.